sketching, an often neglected skill of an artist who aspires to be a painter. In this sketching demonstration, we will translate a simple picture to a tonal study. You get more than half the job done in watercolor or any medium if you nail tonal values. And for that, we will use just three main elementary tools, a mechanical pencil, a kneaded eraser, a mono eraser, and of course, a cold press watercolor paper, preferably 100% cotton. Key lessons to be learned are how to simplify values and how to spot conflicts in composition and eliminate them. I am thankful to Carl for this photograph. Carl is a professional photographer and artist. Please check out his channel as mentioned in the description box below and give him a thumbs up. If you squint your eyes and look at the picture, you tend to lose information, especially color saturation and tonal differences. All similar values tend to club together into chunks of dark masses, leaving only bright highlights, midtones, and darkest darks. Clearly, the whole image simplifies to just one point of primary interest and focus, which is the highly contrasting area created by the shadow cast by the adjacent tree on the wall. Note all unnecessary details at the bottom half of the picture merge to mere abstract form. The outline of the building is sketched and big geometric shapes are first placed. This is a crucial stage as the perspective of the picture has to be as accurate as possible. No amount of slopping colors or even accurate tonal values will cover a badly drawn subject. I sort of guesstimate that the major lines of the building meet at their respective vanishing points. Since both the vanishing points are outside the area of the paper, I make sure that at least lightly drawn construction lines converge hopefully to a point. A trick to do that would be to squint your eyes often and to imagine bright rays of construction line emanating from the edges and converge to vanishing point on either side. The basic structure of the building needs to be delineated. Some architectural details like those wooden posts, brackets are barely indicated. Consider supporting me on my Patreon channel for full length demonstration videos of watercolor sketches and much more. Check the link in the description box below. Note the use of lightly drawn construction lines respecting convergence per general rules of perspective drawing. I must also point that vertical lines also converges upward. Hence a slight inclination to vertical lines makes the drawing correct. There are two ways to show a tonal value by pencil hatching. One, by changing the amount of pressure applied by pencil on paper. Two, 
by maintaining a gap between two parallel lines of hatching. Our lazy brain will merge those parallel lines with negligible gap and make the rendering appear lighter. The shaded portion over the veranda and under the canopy is chunked into a single mass tone. The local variation in tone is kept to a minimum. I don't want this area to compete for attention with my main area of interest. The bottom portion has been kept relatively abstract. I used a mono eraser to clean small areas or bring out some highlights which cannot be easily done with a kneaded eraser. I must point out at this stage that I chose to eliminate any elements of conflict to keep the composition clean and non-distracting. Number one, the partially visible tree behind the building. The stairs and deck that distract the viewer from the focus area. 
the vertical trees that make the silhouette of the sloped canopy unclear against the bright sky. You may use a 6 inch clear plastic ruler to clean some edges, not necessary but will make some highlights and edges cleaner. If some areas need darkening, I once again go over that area. That's the advantage of studying using a pencil. It gives you many chances of correction. This study sketch is almost finished.